Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Ice Wings here. We are going to continue on with the solo mode on. I forgot the name of the game. Master Duel. Look, it's written right there for me. Cool. I knew that. Uh, we're going to do World Legacy. Which, as you can see, World Legacy just has an absolutely absurd story. I don't know how cards ended up with this much story. And with like sub stories leading on to these other things. I I don't have the slightest clue where any of this came from. It's absolutely wild to me. But <clears throat> that's what is up today. First up, I'm gonna be playing Crawlers vs. Naturia apparently. Let's see how that goes. Uh, so, I think crawlers, don't they have like all flip effects or am I confusing them with something else? Yeah, they all have flip effects. You can take one flip monster from your deck except... Ting Dangle Jareth! Who gets drunk and names these things? And either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. If this card is in your hand... You can discard one other card, send one Tang Dangle card from your deck to the graveyard, except Tang Dangle, Jareth. And if you do special summon this card in face down defense position, you can only use the effect each effect of Tang Dangle, Jareth, once per turn. Here we got Tang Dangle Protector. And Crawler Spine and Tang Dangle Trinity. I don't know what Ting Dangle is. But I got a lot more Ting Dangle cards than I do Crawler. I'm not going to stop doing that joke. People, someone's going to get mad at me. It's probably going to be me. You can special summon one Ting Dangle base Gardener from your deck if this card was flipped face up. Let's, let's, let's activate you because you do a thing. Am I gonna get rid of? Get, get rid of you. And send you to the graveyard, maybe? I don't know. I guess I need to like summon these guys out at some point. Okay, okay, it's looking good for me, it's looking good for me. Back in the uh, the old, old, old days of Yu-Gi-Oh, like the first couple sets, I used to play a lot of flip effects. There weren't a lot of flip effects to play, but I used to play them because it just constantly screwed over my opponents. Just be the top five cards of your deck, and if you do, add one excavated crawler monster or world legacy card to your hand. Why would this be those two specific things? Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard, otherwise shuffle all excavated cards into the deck. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except from the extra deck. You cannot except link monsters. Well, that's fine. I think I only have link monsters. Yeah, I only have link monsters. Yeah, D do that. What does it do? This card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard. You can target one Ting Dangle monster in your graveyard, except Ting Dangle uh, special summon it in face down defense position. Yeah, do that.
Uh, what do you do? You can take one flip monster from your deck except Ting Dangle Jarrah and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Yeah, let's do that. There's so many cards. So many cards. I can't... I can't be expected to read all this. I didn't read this much when I was in school. Your opponent activates a card or effect. Uh, uh, you can change this if uh, face down defense position and then get yada 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 blah blah blah. You look cool, what do you do? Yeah, it's cool, let's get you. I'll I'll regret not reading later. Are they all like twos? I have a couple threes. The threes have zero attack. How many tin dangle car monsters with different names do I have in my graveyard? One, two, and it'll be three if I summon him. So I think that's what I'll do. And do you guys have like a graveyard effect? Leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, so that doesn't do anything. So I think you're gonna be my best bet. You look like you do the least. Okay, I actually can't summon that thing that I thought I could summon. Um, okay. What do you do? Subterra. I don't have Subterra cards. Do I have Subterra cards? Follow monsters card. This two cannot be destroyed by battle. Gain 300 attack and defense, and if they battle your opponent's monster, any battle game. Are you an insect? You're a fiend. Uh, you're dark, so that won't do me any good if I wanted to. Okay, let's take a look here. What what's my best bet? I think I want this guy. I'm like 5% sure of that. And no, I'm not just saying that because I didn't read most of the cards. I'm saying it because it had a cool effect, see? Oh, it has a, I, I can do an effect, see? Gains attack equal to the in your main phase. You can send one flip monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one monster from your hand and face down defense position. Uh, which one of these let me summon something when I did it? Field in his own possession. Face up card in his own control leaves the field. Was it? Was it? Who was it? Was it you? What about Deus Ex Crawler? Uh, I'm just gonna toss you in there. And since they're face down, I can't use them apparently. But I can punch you in the face! So punch you in the face with the best of them. Punch him in the face. And punch him in the face. And don't make me flip these two. I don't know what they'll do. I should really read these cards, but like I don't have all day for that. Or, you know, 30 seconds. Or how long it would take. 
Okay, okay, looking good, looking good. Now, I don't know if they're also playing all kinds of crazy flip effects. The monster has no more special summon that is now pointed to by an opponent's link monster. You contribute this card, special summon one. Tindangle. Tindangle? Tindangle. Monster from your hand or deck. What just happened? Isn't there like some cool- yeah, there's a cool tin dangle I can summon. You're gonna get all kinds of tin dangled. I make this deck look good. What do you do? to your hand, and if you do, send one. Eh, that sounds good. Let's do that. Excuse me. And now I gotta send something to the graveyard. Uh... You look like you don't you don't mind being in the graveyard. Go to the graveyard. I have, like, a, a slim chance of winning here anyway. If this destroys that, I should win. Unless it has an effect that stops me from winning. Guys, it had an effect to stop me from winning. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Like, in general. What do you do at the end? What do you do now? What do you do? At the end of the battle phase of this card declared an attack, you can special summon. Ah, sure. Defense. Doesn't seem to be a negative to do that, so... Go ahead. Take your turn. Face my field of... I mean, not terribly threatening creatures. I'll be honest, I don't know why you did that! That worked. And now I do a win. Now I do a win. That's all there is to it. People, you know, they say this is all complicated. They say Yu-Gi-Oh! is difficult. I mean, I don't know what I just did and I won. So, somewhere in that process, things went okay. It's kind of a cool looking little, uh, little thing there. I'm gonna be going 15 minutes. I ain't gonna stop it for just 15 minutes. Let's go through another one. What we got here? Mech Knight! Oh, this is Mech Knight. First, it is recommended to destroy multiple monsters at once with Raigeki. Yes, that's what you do with Raigeki. It's recommended to have these really powerful cards in your hand. Okay, homie. Raigeki's at two. You can put a second one in there. This is at three. You can put a third one in there. 
at three. You could put a third one in there. If, if you're going to specifically call out cards for me to use, put them in the deck. Alright. So, I didn't look at my monsters, but I don't think I was playing Mech Knights. I think he's playing Mech Knights. Yeah, I'm wearing... I'm playing World, Ch World Chalice. He's playing Mech Knights, which means I gotta play around Mech Knights. Okay. Let's see what any of this stuff does, because I do not remember. Face up World Chalice, monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. You can target one World Chalice monster in your graveyard. Go ahead, do that. That sounds good. Okay, I can't summon you. If a monster is best with someone from the extra deck except during the turn, you can tribute this card. Send that monster to the graveyard. You can only... Hmm. This face-up normal summon slash set monster leaves the field. You can special summon two World Chalice monsters from your deck, except World Chalice, World Legacy World Chalice. During your main phase, except the turn, this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card. So I still, it sounds like I still got to get him on the field legit. Field to the graveyard. Okay, step one, we're gonna summon you. Take that. Worst part is I didn't play around Mech Knights. What are you gonna do now, huh? Summon a monster way bigger than mine and kill me? Oh, he's gonna play a magic card that's gonna allow him to summon a monster way bigger than mine and kill me. There it is. He didn't need to do that. That was fun. Can you keep doing the thing where you kill yourself? That's going great for me. And now he's winning. Your turn. I don't know if I got a bum hand or if I don't know what I'm doing. Possibly both. That doesn't really feel like it helped all that much. Uh, but maybe I can get one of these guys out now. Wait. Yeah, do that, do that, do that, that's right. You, you do, you can add a card. Oh, here's all the normal monsters.
I don't know if this card is going to be bigger than you or not. I hope it is. Um... Your turn! Fear me! Ha! You should have actually been fearing me! What happened? What, ha what happened? Stop doing things that are probably better than what I'm doing. Okay. What does this do? Okay. Now, if I read that card correctly, this should work. I'm the baitest. Baitest? I'm the baitest Yu Gi Oh! player of all time. That's the best and the greatest. Both of those things. Alright, alright. What you got for me? What you got for me? Ooh, no, stop doing that. Ooh, stop it. Don't do that. Ooh, no, don't get rid of that. Whatever you're doing, stop doing it. Oh, he didn't stop doing it. Uh, what do you do? Yes, do that. If this card is sent to the field, you can special summon one World Chalice monster from your hand. We weren't supposed to do that. moves. First up, do this. And you're going to get a boost from the other guy. Um...
Oh, you're in defense position. I don't like you. Well, that was funny. Okay, what do you do? During your normal phase, you can normal summon one World Chalice monster in addition to your normal monster slash set. Okay, what's your effect? I feel like I'm doing nothing even remotely useful right now. I can't use you. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to lose. Might as well press buttons until something happens. Did I just win? Did I just win? Oh my god, I just won. I don't even know what I did. I could never replicate it. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might actually like World Chalice. I think they're actually kinda cool. Um, I don't know if they're good. But, uh... They seem playable compared to some of the other things this deck, this thing gives me. Yeah, definitely, definitely seems better. But that was a fun run, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I did, because I wasn't getting my butt handed to me 18 times in a row. That's always a good, always a good thing to happen. I want to thank everyone for watching. Wish you all a good night. I'll see you in the future.